Hey dudes, this is Chris, and today I will do the growl tutorial that everyone was waiting for. Cheers! Growl! So, my first advice from me to you as a teacher is, if you haven't watched my first tutorial, please watch it. I think it's really, really hard to get a proper growl when you don't have proper mids. And proper mids need proper breathing. Proper breathing is the essence, the quintessence of good screaming. So, you need proper breathing. Please don't underestimate that. That's really, really crucial for good screams, growls, mids, everything. So, if you haven't watched my first tutorial, give it a shot. You can find the link below. Good. If you have watched my first tutorial, you know how to do mids properly. Like this. Yo! That's a mid. If you can do that like me, or in any way, you're good. That's a big step because you've mastered breathing and that's the biggest step you can make. So, a lot of people keep asking me, okay Chris, I can't do mids, but what shall I do now? So, just push it down if you, if you imagine a normal talk. You speak in normal in this pitch, okay? Like me. And what do you do? What do you feel when you are talking in a lower pitch. You're talking in a lower pitch. Welcome to the League of Draven. That's a lower pitch. That's a lower pitch. And you have to have to watch this feeling here yeah, in your throat. You're pushing your layering style here. Yeah? And now adapt that onto your screaming. Onto your mid. Yo! Just push it down. It's not really that hard, but you have to practice it. It's hard in the beginning, but you, it needs practice, obviously. It needs practice. Well, that's your first attempt. That's your first challenge. Just push your larynx down. Imagine the trick with the lower voice. Nothing more. That's my first advice to you. Another tip from me on common growls is if you do, if you move it down, yeah, it may sound like th this, yeah. Yo! And not like that. Yo! It's, it's, uh, it's the power in it, yeah. It has a little bit more power in it, so let me explain. I tighten a specific muscle in my throat. It's like. When I'm talking normal, it sounds like this. Maybe you can you can find the muscle then. It's like that. It's like talking dead. I'm talking like a fucking demon. And it's it sounds funny, but that's the way to to get a good growl. In fact, I mean, yeah. And that's the way of, of making a growl sound more powerful and it gives you even it, it, it clo I have the feeling that it closes my 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 throat a little bit so that less air can get through it. So I can I have much more sustain in my growls and that's that's awesome, yeah? Got more power and more sustain. What do you want more? I mean so try it. So here's the difference. Yeah! That's a normal one, and here's the difference. Yo! So, pretty, pretty awesome. Grrr! The second advice to you is, if you want to have more power in the growl, you need some special technique, which I call the tongue technique. A lot of bands are using this, and these bands got very special growls. Whitechapel, for example, I declare war, Big chocolate, everyone's using this technique. I mean, a few people know it, but it takes a lot of practice to, to do it properly, obviously, but it's the tongue technique, so I will show it to you. I hope you can make use of it. So, you flip your tongue up, that, that's the side view of the mouth, okay? Just flip it up, that it's like that, okay? That's the bottom of your mouth. Just flip it up, so that's like that. The mouth, the mouth is this hand, okay? Just flip it up like that and then make a growl. See the difference? Listen closely. Yo! Okay? Well, that's a big difference. I mean, it gives the, the, the growl so much more room. So much more resonance. And 
It's way deeper and more powerful. You will love it, I'm sure. If you have mastered this technique, you will need even more power. So here's another advice from me. Just make a deep, deep belly push out of your mouth. So it's like it's like that and you have to maintain that pressure and it gives the crowd so much energy it's unbelievable on stage the people are looking at you and that's fucking awesome so that's a normal growl Yo! that's with the tongue trick and with the power trick Okay, well, you, you, you hear it's a little bit more power in it, and that's the key, that are little factors that, that add up. And that's the key, that's experimentation. And these were my experimentations, and I'm here to give it to you. So, try it out. Okay, guys, these were my tips on growls. I hope you can make use of it. If you have any questions, you know, I'm a guy that tries to answer every question and help where I can ask me and please if you like the tutorial add me on Facebook I will answer your questions there and yeah the URL is facebook.com slash vocal covers you can find it on the top of the page and on the bottom in the description if you like the tutorial please give me a like share it with your friends and please give me a like on Facebook and thanks for watching Grrr!